This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles, on the Rockstar Radio Network. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd on the Rockstar Radio Network. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Well, well, we're broadcasting from Colorado. At least that's where I am. My guest is in California, and I'm going to suspect that her weather is better than ours has been the past week. We have had amazing monsoons, unbelievable tornado warnings, unbelievable floodings, the destruction of homes, the loss of too many lives, too many people lost and not found yet and businesses destroyed and and I have to tell you on our personal note although we didn't have flooding we actually had a wedding last weekend that started in the garden but as soon as the ceremony started giant crack thunder immense rain an unbelievable shower of rain winds like we haven't seen before ripped up all the tents we moved to plan B which was going to be in the lanai but with the tornado sirens going off with the winds going, with the wind howling, with the rain blasting, with now three inches of hail pelting at us, we moved to Plan C, which was inside the house. So by the time it was over, the whole gardens are trashed. My house is trashed. So we went from a sitcom, and I can't even tell you some of the things that happened, but we went from a sitcom to a disastrous success. And when you think about authoring and gizmos and gadgets and apps and everything else, a lot of times it's a disaster when you first start out because we just don't know what we're doing, but it can be an enormous success. And you need to go from plan A to plan B to plan C and sometimes to other plans before it hooks up and gets right. Well, this show today is going to be all about getting you from plan A to whatever plan you need to get to. My guest has been with me many, many times. She's got a brand new book I encourage all of you to go up to Amazon and get called Release Your Inner Nerd. Beth Zeisness is with us today, and we are into gizmos, gadgets, apps, and everything else. Hi, Beth. How are you? I'm great here in San Diego. How are you now? Tell me the weather's fine. <laughs> I, I hate to tell you the weather's fine, and I have to uh, give a shout out to your listeners, especially those in Colorado. Uh, my family lives in Colorado, and I know you've got a lot of supporters who go to your programs in Colorado. And I, my heart is with you guys, and I'm so hoping that my beloved Estes Park and a lot of the other beautiful areas I know and enjoy are going to come back stronger than ever. So know we're thinking about you. Well, you know, Colorado is an awesome state, and uh, it has been amazing what people are doing to reach out and help each other. And I have to tell you, Beth, what we've seen the, uh, the military come in and be able to land these helicopters literally on a dime and help people in Lyons and Jamestown and Estes, which is a mess. Um, and all those areas. So I, I should say that those of you who are in Colorado, um, and can move around, especially in the lower front range, which is fairly easy to maneuver at this point, is that Author U does have a fabulous author promotional publicity program this Saturday the 21st at the Doubletree and uh, Southeast and Aurora. And what you need to do if you want to go to that, because we're bringing in the number one, uh, literally, uh, literary publicist, you need to go to the authoru.org site to register for that and to to support everybody that everyone can just you know come at the member rate but you've got to pre-register by Friday which is tomorrow if you're listening live so Beth let's get into and let me just say this is your family okay because I know they're here uh, my family's fine my sister had to stay home she's a teacher she couldn't go into school for a few days uh, but right. everybody's fine and 
Um, they're ha happy. I'm sure some of you guys are happier for a little bit more water in Colorado because it's been so challenging with we have obviously way too much in some areas, but some areas maybe got a little relief. Yeah, well, I have to tell you, we had had monsoons before all this hit. So um, we were above our we were above our sell by date by the time all the last week hit. Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> it, it, in most wow. of the state. All right. So let's talk about authors and books and publishing and what apps and what gizmos and what gadgets are you seeing are hot and uh, what we should be, know about. Well, the first thing I think we need to address is iPhone or Android, because obviously the big news of the week is that the iPhone updated its both its operating system and is releasing two new phones. So it's time for a lot of us to really reconsider, especially with some of the phone companies now, the wireless carriers, having different program so that you can upgrade more often, it's time for those of us who use gadgets in our lives to really take a hard look at what their needs are and which major phone is going to meet those needs because you're going to have it for one or two years and obviously things are changing so quickly. So the conversation so, so are, that you need to yeah. have with yourself, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, the, the biggest thing is are we talking about security? or sexiness. Those are really the two categories I'm thinking that these things fall into right now. And I'm talking oh, mostly you, about Beth, iPhone have, and let, Android. Let me, uh, let me jump in here. It's not just security and sexiness. It's efficiency. For me, I, I'll tell you, my number one thing is efficiency and speed. Well, when you talk about these different high-end high efficiency phones, you're really going to find a lot of the same basic capabilities where you're going to have access to all your files on the road. You're really almost going to be able to work from your phone or your definitely your tablet uh, a lot easier than it used to be. So when we're talking about efficiency, we kind of have a high level of, of productivity from any type of phone, whether it's BlackBerry, which has its drawbacks because it doesn't have a very well-developed app market, if, whether it's Windows, which has its um, drawbacks because not only are there not as many apps for Windows phones as there are for the other phones, but it's just not as lauded as the two leading ones, and those are Android and iPhone. So when you look at efficiency, and we'll talk about some apps for efficiency, I hope, in this hour. But when you look at just the device, you've got the iPhone, which is major, major benefit right now over everybody else is its security. The Android market was made to be open. That's its whole philosophy. And so when you're dealing with Android apps, you can deal with real bummer apps that are just accepted because it's a more open community. You can also deal with apps and programs that you can download that are actually malicious that can steal your data or, or mess up other things on your phone. Whereas iPhone has a high level of security, has a lockdown system for app approval, and really gives you a level of security. Add to that, iPhone has, in its new format, done a couple of different things with its operating system to enhance security, but the major thing is that the phone itself, the new one that goes on sale tomorrow, has a fingerprint scanner, which is very high security. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about mm -hmm. security levels versus sexiness. So let's talk about sexiness for a second. Okay. Android is, has, because Android is an operating system that can be implemented on a number of different phones and not just an iPhone. Like the, the Apple operating system only operates on Apple iPhones. But Android operates on a whole bunch of different providers. And so you've got the options of a, what they call a phablet, which is a phone and a tablet combined with a very large screen. You've got the options of, of all kinds of, of different interfaces and a lot more oohs and ahs with the different integrations and a lot more options. So 
I'm going through this decision-making process myself, do I go with a very rock-solid iPhone or do I go with an Android device? I'm leaning toward the Galaxy Tab, which is one of those larger um, tablet-slash-phone hybrids. And which one is going to be the coolest for you? Mm-hmm. Well, what about the new Moto X that's, that has uh, had a little bit of buzz out there? Do you know anything about that one? Well, that one... That one is the one that I think is much more personalizable, uh, and that's been its key features. I haven't been studying that one as much. Like I said, in the, in the Android area and some of the other operating systems, there are a number of phones that can run on those operating systems. And the mm-hmm. Moto X, I believe that's the one that's gotten the buzz because it's very personalizable in terms of its look and its functionality, which can be very attractive uh, to people. And again, if you're going with the Android, I believe, I'm almost positive it's an Android base, um, you've got all these kind of options for the actual hardware, and the, each of those hardware systems has a different type of interface rather than just the iPhone and the one operating system. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's, so it's more secure, harder to penetrate. Now we're going to have a a fingerprint on the new iPhone versus the more open base, the, the Android platforms. Um, let me ask you this. What's the difference? We have, we have one more minute before our first break. What are we, what's our first difference uh, in the cost factors here? In the high-end phones, you're not going to have a huge difference in the cost factors. In all these cases, you're probably going to be looking at subscribing to a service and staying on them. And you can spend, you know, anywhere from 199 out of pocket immediately to hundreds of dollars for one that you can that's yours to own. And but there's there's not a lot of variety in the upper end costs. What what, what is the what's the a new iPhone 5 going to go for? The new iPhone 5 with the subscription is 199. They got a lower priced version Whoa. that is not actually meant for an international audience. That's one they're unleashing tomorrow. And it's uh, it's colorful. It's a 5C, and they okay. joke that C is for cheap, but uh, okay. it's got a great <laughs> Let's come back to that on cheap. We'll be right back. We've got our, our, our a break here with Vestistas. We're talking about technology, and we're going to learn some of the secrets of today's technology nerds of with Beth is our nerdy best friend. I'm Judith Bryles. We'll be right back. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Is there a book in you or another author you will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being good with If you already have a book out, You'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author U brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author U's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publishing. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has pizzazz, punch, and panache, Author U is for you. If you're a hobbyist or a casual author, it's not. Join Author U today through its website at authoru.org. Follow Author U on Twitter at Author U and on Facebook at Author U, where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily. Author U, where the author goes to become seriously successful. sell stuff? Do you want to sell books? Lots of them? If yes, you must take credit cards, the most widely used form of payment today. The Free Terminal has created a special program for your guide to book publishing listeners. No contract. All equipment is free. Extremely low rates and no termination fees ever. Contact Alan Dean at Alan at thefreeterminal.com or call him at 303-668-6828. 
The free terminal has handled all credit card transactions for both Author U and Judith for over a year. Don't wait another day. Contact Alan at thefreeterminal.com or call 303-668-6828 and tell him you want the no contract Author U deal. Every picture tells a story. And it's a truism that people do judge a book by its cover. Nick Selinger and NZ Graphics have been in the business of producing superior graphic cover design and interior layout for self-published authors, independent and traditional publishers for years. He has developed a reputation for excellent work, fast turnarounds, and best of all, affordable pricing. NZ Graphics also produces ebooks and book marketing materials such as posters, sell sheets, postcards, bookmarks, business cards, logos, and more. Books designed for his clients have won multiple book awards, including Best Book Award by U.S. Book News, multiple Evy Awards from the Colorado Independent Publishers Association, Indie Book Awards, the San Francisco Book Festival Award, and Freedom Medal Award from Valley Forge. Visit www.nzgraphics.com or call 303 985 4174 for more details about making your book the success it should be. Mention that you are an FOJ, friend of Judith's, and that you heard about NZ Graphics on your guide to book publishing. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask on the Rockstar Radio Network. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Alrighty, we're talking about nerdy related stuff, all these gizmos and gadgets. We've been talking about phones, and off the air, Beth and I were talking about the cost factors, the $199 for the new iPhone and the $99 for the cheap version, which probably doesn't have quite as much of the functionality gadgets, guess, inside. But that's without, we need to say that that's with a two year commitment with whatever your carrier is. If you buy it straight out flat, you're going to be looking at around $500. Is that right, Beth? Yep, that's uh, that's where you're, that's the price range, yeah. Okay. All right, so let, let's do a hop over. I would um, love to talk about some of the other things in your excellent book, Release Your Inner Nerd. And you mentioned some of the newer security tools that we as authors and book publishers need to know about. What are some of those? There's never been a more critical time to take a good look at your security. Never. I mean, we've, we've had some questions about what the government is doing, the National Security Administration, what some of the other things are happening with those kind of levels. But in the just daily use of our phones and our systems and our computers, we are so, as a society, lazy when it comes to passwords. And that is the weakest link when it comes to getting into our computer. Passwords should be humdiggers. They should be long, they should be complicated, they should have caps, they should have lower cases. They should be things we should never be able to guess or never be able to remember. They should be complicated and unique for each one. And there are a number of tools out there that help you really manage those so you don't have to remember them or, for gosh sakes, use sticky notes all over your computer to try to remember them to stay safe. So I wanted to talk about my favorite one, and it's called LastPass, L-A-S-T-P-A-S-S. It's free for the basic level, and what it does, the first time you use it, it's going to scare you to death. You install it on your computer, and it will sweep your browser history and show you every username and password that you've used for every site you've registered on since time began, pretty much. I was mortified 
at the number of times I used the simplest, easiest little password in the universe that I had been using since like 2007. Like 76 uses of that. And the way hackers are getting into systems, one of the ways is that they recognize that we use the same password over and over again. So a lot of us have a little password, just kind of an everyday password that we use when you know you go to a site and they say register and get the white paper for education. And so you just put your information in there. Well, when you register and use that same password again, hackers will go and try to hack up. You know, they'll start off at the easiest site to to get into, get your information, and then start trying it on more serious things. Because most of us then have a more serious password with maybe some numbers and things for our banking sites or our higher end sites. But we still use the same one over and over again. So what LastPass does is sweep through all of your usernames and passwords and shows you what they are. Then it will allow you to go to a site and it will automatically populate those username and passwords in there. What that lets you do is start changing your passwords one by one to see the longer, more complicated computer-generated passwords, and then you don't have to remember them. Because LastPass, you can log into it from anybody else's computer, and it automatically will fill in wherever you are. And you can have it for $12. You get the app so you can have it on your mobile devices as well. So you can go ahead and do it uh, from anywhere you are rather than having to be logged into a, a laptop with a regular old browser. I, I, I have a question on this because that um, I, I mean, I'm thinking that you're right. We all go in and we use some variation because, number one, it's a habit um, and a pattern. But would it make sense to when you're going out and downloading a, down, a, a white paper or fill in the blank for something or signing up for it, some uh, goodie that you're going to listen into? Is it, it maybe it's it would make sense to use a very simple repetitive word that you don't give a twiddly did about and it doesn't connect with your more serious stuff? Would that make sense at all? Well, making more sense than even that is to go to a site like 10minutemail.com, and that's the number 10, 10minutemail.com, gives you a temporary mm -hmm. username and password in seconds. And it allows you to, let's say you're going to that site and it says, you know, register and we'll send you the link to verify and then you get your stuff. Well, 10 minute mail lasts 10 minutes. So you register using their username and password. You go to 10 minute mail under that and get your email that comes in from that company. You click it and you got it and nobody has your information. And it takes just seconds rather than putting in any kind of personal information or anything you have to remember. I often use, uh, I do the same thing though. I use uh, things like um, for my username, I'll put not yet, and then for my password, I'll put no, 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 or something like that. That really makes no difference. But uh, if you're wanting to get a little bit deeper or it's a little bit more complicated, you can use these temporary ones. All right, and, and if you're if you're moving around a lot, you don't want to keep going back to the a ten minute site to get a, a zillion usernames and emails. I mean, I, that would be a bugaboo for me. But I think using, I like the idea, not yet, no, no, no. That sounds, that works well for me. Um, what, what about, though, where you have multiple people into, um, I, I have multiple people that access uh, a variety of different accounts that I use that, that are on the administration side um, and virtual assistant side. Um, does something well, like LastPass allow for that? I can't tell you how excited I am that you asked that question because that's Aha! my next thing that I adore. I know, okay. it's like we set it up, but we didn't set it up. That's Aha! what I adore <laughs> about LastPass. I know, we're, we're good at this. Um, <laughs> LastPass allows you to share usernames and passwords without sending that email that says, here's my username and password, log in as me and get stuff done. And exactly. uh, it just uh, puts a level of security that makes everybody happy. And if, when you pay the $12 a year, that means that every time if you go in and you update a password somewhere, it's automatically pushed out to the people who are using the LastPass to access your things. 
Right now I'm having a trouble with my assistants. I've had, uh, if you ever saw the show Murphy Brown from yes. uh, back in the 90s, I yeah. guess. Yeah. She had a secretary every week with some quirk and some weirdness. Right? Mm -hmm. That's me with my assistants these days. So I never want to have to go and change all of my username and passwords when one of my assistants, I had one that lasted three days last week. <laughs> uh, I promise I'm good. I'm a good person to work for, just these weird circumstances. <laughs> but I don't want to have... I know. I, excuses, excuses. But I don't want to have to go and change all of my passwords because obviously with my job, I... Have I share all kinds of different software that we have to work together on. And I don't want to have to change all my passwords. So this way, even if one of my um, assistants goes to prison, I am really not worried. Uh, not that that's happened yet, but, you know, at this rate, I am really not worried because we have a very strong wall in between what's my password and security information and what they can see because they can't see any of the personal stuff. Plus, they can use LastPass to manage their own things. Okay, so for 12 bucks a year, you can have multiple users related with you, or is there a limit of how many are in there? Kind of. Everybody can get a free, a free version. And then you as the administrator, if you want to have the access to, if any of you want to have the access to it on the iPhone or, or, you know, on an app or what have you, or if you wanted to automatically push updates rather than having to reshare mm -hmm. with all your mm -hmm. assistants, you mm -hmm. can pay the $12 a year. They don't have to pay the $12 a year. They can just have free accounts and accept your things. Great. Well, I this is a conversation I actually had two hours ago because my admin was saying, in my in-house, and I have three virtuals, and she was literally saying, all these passwords, my God. And I, I said, I know, I know. And so, um, so this, uh, this is, uh, this is next week's assignment. So that sounds great. All right. So we're going to, we're going to take another quick break here and we'll be back. And I would love if you want to, we want to talk about a little bit more of these, but I also would like to hop into some of the screen capturing that is so prevalent today. This is Judith Bryles. My guest is our nerdy best friend, Beth Seasness. We'll be right back. This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Since 1987, Color House Graphics has set the standard for quality book production. Whether you decide to print a small quantity of books or need a large print run, depend on Color House to help you. You'll receive professional help and advice the moment you reach one of our representatives. If you mention hearing about us on your guide to book publishing, Judith Bryles, we will provide you with discount on the first order you place. To speak with a project manager, call us toll free at 800-454-1916 or visit us at www.colorhousegraphics.com. Do you need postcards that make a statement? How about business cards, flyers, brochures, or NCR forms? Tuvets is the solution for all your printing needs. Providing services specially designed for authors, we deliver exceptional quality colored printing. Most important of all, we specialize in reducing your printing costs. No more waiting. No more standing in lines at your local printer. Online proofing. With our pricing tools calculator, you can get instant quotes on all your printing products as well as shipping rates all over the United States. Just a few clicks of the mouse and you're on the way to discovering how easy and convenient online color printing should be. Contact our friendly, human, account representatives. We recognize that you want answers, not voice prompts. Visit our website at www.tu-vets.com or call 1-800-894-8977.
When Ned Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972, they believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your title, enhancing the promotion of your book during infancy. When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing questions. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask on the Rockstar Radio Network. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Hi there. Okay, we are talking. We talked about iPhones, the new iPhone. We're talking about this fabulous app that Beth mentioned called Last Pass or Lost Pass. Is that it? Or Last Pass? Um, and in Last. case you, yeah, L A S T Pass, P A S S. Uh, in, in case they, if you're like me and all the changes and all the passwords, or if you're like me of using the same password in many places and maybe a different number or variation, and of course you forget it, which number did I do? And then they block you out and you have to come up with another one. Anyway, she's got a solution, last pass uh, to take advantage of and, and do that. I also want to encourage all of our listeners to get best book, Release Your Inner Nerd. Um, and her name is spelled, last name is Z as in Zebra, I-E-S-E-N-I-S. -E -E -S. So, uh, and she has a special scan on the very back cover um, that you download the app that says scan me, download it, and you'll always have updates on all the apps and things she talks about within the book, which is a very cool thing to do so you won't be out of date. So, with that, Beth, um, we've, we've talked about how to take care of our nightmare of the, of the uh, missing uh, password as well as the redundant password and, and all those things. What are some of the other things that authors um, really need to pay attention to? Well, authors, if we're working in a Starbucks, which a lot of us do because we're mobile yeah. and we take them with us, if yes. we're working in a Starbucks, we need to be incredibly careful about the using what we're doing when we're using Wi-Fi. Now, my uh, my system now is that I bring my own Wi-Fi system, a closed one, and go off my own system. But if I'm using a public system, I never ever do any kind of keystrokes into a banking site, into anything that could get me in a lot of trouble. And if you are one of those people who hasn't changed your passwords yet, like probably 99% of the people who are out there, you want to make sure that you don't use a password that you use for other places. There are so many different ways that people are hacking in in public, si public places to public Wi-Fi systems and getting people's information, and that's very, very dangerous for all of us. Yeah, it is dangerous, and the hackers are, and even your websites. I mean, we went through, um, I, I will, say, we went through a HostGator nightmare again today. We had a massive hacking in three weeks ago, 
and and they they're almost like the mafia but we actually pulled all our websites off of HostGator this morning because of some stuff that they're doing and going into another resource but it, you've got to be careful on your own websites of what's going on because of the hacking possibilities and most of us use the same kind of passwords Yep, absolutely. And I have to mention, give a shout out to my web provider. I use Bluehost because I, mine are all WordPress websites, and Bluehost is one of their recommended sites. And I have had a great experience because I was hacked, scared me to death, made me nauseated, made me feel dirty. I mean, it's, you know, somebody being able to get in there and turn your site into a malicious site, which is what they did. So yeah. I used, I, called Bluehost immediately and could barely breathe, and they were able to restore my old site and give me tips and help me protect my old site. So uh, I, I've been really happy with them. Uh, HostGator, um, I haven't used, uh, but we, you definitely need to have a company you can count on and some security things in place for your website as well. Well, it's, it's just really a mess, but I, the buzz is, I think that these two may be merging together um, out there, and, oh. I, and it, I don't know if it's Bluehost, it's Blue Somebody, but um, it's icky. <laughs> it's a nightmare. All right, so what are some of the other things, besides not using the uh, 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 keywords that could be picked up, or, or, or keystrokes that could be picked up by anything in a close vicinity, especially to critical uh, and sensitive information like your banking and credit cards. What else? Well, there's one thing that's pretty simple to install and use, but all of us should have it. With iPhone, there's something called Find My iPhone. It's yes. an app that allows you to locate and disable and do all kinds of things with your missing devices. So that is very, very handy. Um, there's also a tool called Prey, P-R-E-Y, and Prey allows you to do that with different mobile devices. It's not necessarily just iPhone related, and it allows you to kind of put those markers, put those, put that information into GPS-enabled devices that you own so that you can keep track of if something of yours is stolen, you have more control over that. With Prey, you can actually turn on a webcam and uh, look at the guy who stole the stuff. Oh, wow. So we're, are we talking about just mobile devices or any devices that maybe walk, like, walked away? It can be laptops or devices. Okay. Well, that would be a good one to have. Uh, so uh, maybe for purses, too, if you have an electronic thing in there. You know, there are some tags in there. Well, if, it, if you're purse, if your phone is in your purse, yes, and somebody uh -huh. swipes your purse, then maybe they can help you get the whole mess back. That would be wonderful. But there are also some technologies. Um, one company is now in doing some crowdsourcing, and they are, they allow you to put little tags on your items, other items, to track them with the GPS location and other location type services to keep ta track of your stuff. Mm-hmm. Those are going to well, be, I good. think, about eighteen dollars a piece tile. All right. So, yeah. So let me ask you this: I need to come back to our laptop. I get how if it's your your mobile phone takes a walk away and prays there. How do you is, do you install Pray as an app on your laptop as well as you would download it on a mobile? Yes. Yeah, okay. so it'll be on your laptop, and your laptop is also GPS enabled, so that's why it gives you that that system. All right, so that's a, that sounds like a great idea. I'm going to do that. And is that a free, or do we pay for that? Yeah, the basic uh, is free. It's a it's a free. Love it. Okay. Yes. All right. What other gizmos and gadgets would be just perfect for an author to have in his or her bag of tricks? Well, let's talk tablet. I think, I think it's incredible, incredible mm -hmm. what the last year has done for the productivity levels of tablets. It used to be that tablets were really for accessing content rather than creating content. But mm -hmm. there are some things out there, some tools out there that help you 
use your tablet almost like you're in front of a bigger screen computer and make that jump so that you don't have to cart around your laptops anymore. Oh, perfect. So let's hear about those. So iPad is still the top. Unlike the iPhone, which has kind of slipped in popularity and is no longer the top-selling mobile phone, iPad is the tip-top of the tablet world. And then you pretty much have everybody else. There are so many different options in the tablet world these days. You know, even even uh, Nook, Amazon Nook, you know, the Amazon Kindle has pretty much tablet capabilities with their machines. You can pay anything from under $200 to, you know, my iPad was over $800 and everything in between. You've got the iPad minis, you've got different sizes. It all depends on your comfort level. But what you're going to find on these tablets are apps that will give you pretty much Microsoft Office capabilities on these devices. So you can get a, an outside keyboard as well that will allow you to pretty much type like you're in front of a, a laptop. Mm -hmm. And so what are some of the apps you'd recommend? I like Documents to Go. Mm -hmm. There is a one called Quick Office that I also use. A lot of people use Cloud On, C L O U D O N, and that allows you to access and use your files from anywhere. Those are three that are basically, mm, you know, Microsoft Office equivalents. There's nothing equivalent to the full Microsoft Office suite. I mean, You've got some free versions, and you've got some different things that do some of the things, but they're still really in the in our offices and what we use mm -hmm. on a daily basis for the most part in most mm -hmm. offices. But uh, you've also got these equivalents that will – Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I want to ask – we have 30 seconds no, no, for our next break, but I want to ask this quick question. For the documents to go in quick office, do they also have the capability of tapping into your, say, your desktop or your cloud office to get other documents as Cloud On does? Well, you can link in with Dropbox and all kinds of things with those tools. So, okay, yes. so, drop, so we could load Dropbox onto our tablet as well? Yes. yes. Okay, all right. Great, we're going to be back. This is Judith Riles. You're listening to your guide to book publishing. My guest this hour is Beth Zizness, and she's the author of Release Your Inner Nerd. <laughs> This is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these on the Rockstar Radio Network. Do you sell stuff? Do you want to sell books? Lots of them? If yes, you must take credit cards, the most widely used form of payment today. The Free Terminal has created a special program for your guide to book publishing listeners. No contract. All equipment is free. Extremely low rates and no termination fees ever. Contact Alan Dean at Alan at thefreeterminal.com or call him at 303-668-6828. The Free Terminal has handled all credit card transactions for both Author You and Judith for over a year. Don't wait another day. Contact Alan at thefreeterminal.com or call 303-668-6828 and tell him you want the no contract author you deal. The book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd if you want to create a book with no regrets. Give her a call today. 
303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207. Or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, Bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. Follow Judith on Twitter at MyBookShepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from one to 5,000 copies. Today we offer digital black and white and four color high speed inkjet printing, a cost effective way to introduce color into your short run titles. We of course offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in house from adhesive case binding to PUR perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print on demand facility, streaming browser based ebooks and bookstore. Call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask on the Rockstar Radio Network. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, in this last segment, we want to, Beth has to share us one more tip from the tablet arena. We want to give you a really good idea on how to uh, tap dance around uh, Photoshop, which is not a cheap uh, resource to have, some alternatives to that, and then we want to get into some book promotion ideas. So, Beth, back to you. Well, they kind of all blend together because my tip with tablets is this. I have discovered a whole category I call bathtub apps, bathtub apps. And bathtub apps came about because I discovered you can take a tablet and take a uh, freezer bag, gallon-sized freezer bag, put your tablet in the freezer bag and spend three hours in the bathtub, bubble baths and all, and you can work. And I love this because for people who are doing creative marketing things for their books, this is so interesting. Is is all these fun apps that'll help you to create fun, interesting graphics on the go, and that's why I call them bathtub apps because there's things you can make in a matter of minutes when you have a few minutes, whether you're in the bathtub or in a doctor's office or wherever on your tablet. One of them that I love is called Poster. <laughs> I know it sounds funny. P H O S T E R. And Puffoster, Poster, or Poster is an app that allows you to make an immediate graphic flyer kind of thing. These are great to post up when you're doing on your Facebook page or Twitter or any kind of social media, and you need that quick graphic. So Poster is one of them. Another one of my very favorites is Image Chef. I M A G E C H E F, and Image Chef allows you to take pictures or words and put them into different kind of frames. Like I've got, um, I live here in San Diego, so they've got one where you can, it looks like you've written your name on the beach in the sand. And all oh, of this is a graphic. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. So you can right? just, oh yeah, you just put in your name and it'll write it or the name of your book or what have you. And you can put, um, your name. I just did a whole series. I'm doing a presentation uh, with a group who has an awareness month. So I said, here are the other things that have awareness months. And I took a picture of a puppy and he's holding a sign because October is national dog or national pound dog awareness adoption month Mm -hmm. or something. And it's also decorate and bake month. So I took a little picture of a cupcake and put National Decorate and Bake Month on the little sticky. And all it is is just writing that text 
and it automatically inserts it. So that's Image Chef. Another one I love are Keep Calm Omatics. We've all seen those Keep Calm and Carry On signs. Well, it turns out they're not copyrighted. And you can make your own for your own marketing, for I've made magnets out of them for my book and my promotions. And it's so easy to just go. There are all kinds of apps or they're even online. Keep Calm Omatic. You can, uh, you can just Google that. And you can go to the original British site and make your own. All right. What about Love posters? Those. Uh, yeah, yeah. What about a lot of times we have sayings, like I have a brand new book coming out called Snappy Sassy Salty, Wise Words for Authors and Writers. What about making posters with quotations and stuff? Do you have a favorite app for using those? Would that be your, your Foster that you mentioned earlier? Yeah, I like Foster for that. There's something called, uh, let me make sure I remember it right. I think it's called uh, Change This. It's in the book. It's not Change This. It's uh, Cover This. Oh, gosh. Uh, I Drawing a blank, you have stumped the nerd. But it oh, is, uh, like I said, it's, in the book, and it allows you to create an online poster. What mm -hmm. is that one called? I'll have to look it up at the next break if we have another time, or nope, you can give an update. We don't. <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, you stumped the nerd. Right. <laughs> stumped the nerd. Oh, I love that, Beth. All right. So, what are some of the other cool things um, that we could look at? For book promotion for authors, a lot of time. This is the this is I, I don't know if you know it, but the month of October is the number one book selling uh, month of the year. Number one is is trick or treat, and and what happens is bookstores and all our listeners need to know this. If your if your goal is to have books um, for the season in the fall, you really have to sell them in May to bookstores to carry them. They have to have them. And what they do is they bring them into the fall time and whatever is basically primarily left over is what they flow into the season. They hold a little bit back, but that's what they pull into the, the major, um, Christmas holiday, uh, that they push forward with. But October is the big month out here. Wow, I, I'm glad to know that myself. There you go. <laughs> there you go. It's it's fall. It's fall time. Fall time is book time um, for a lot of people. I mean, summer is beach reads, but fall time is the big the big season as you come into it. And it starts, October is the real benchmark for most stores. All right, so as we have this, um, what other ideas that you've seen with book promotion that might be a good tip for our listeners? Well, as I start into these, let me clarify the site that I was talking about to make those online posters is called mm -hmm. Check This, C-H-E-C-K, this. this. Yes. So right. uh, checkthis.com. So I am in love, in love with multimedia for promotions. And there are so many cool things that you can do, and I'll tell you about two of them because they're my ultimate favorite. The first one is simple, simple, simple. You take either video snippets or pictures or both. I usually do both. And you upload them to a site or you can snap them on your phone with the app called Animoto. Oh, yeah. Animoto. N-I-M-O-T-O. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and Animoto lets you take those pictures. Well, what do you do with it? How do you oh, use I've, it? I, I've, I've done a variety of things. I've made, I make book trailers with Animoto all the time. And, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I, well, I, I've done my Christmas cards, you know, my Christmas letter we do with Animoto and we have all these pictures we upload and you can do videos and, you know, they've got a, and, and it is, and I, there is a free version for everyone, but it's a very shorty. I need to tell you that you are mm -hmm. much smarter to pay the $30 yeah. for the year and turn it loose. Um, and you you upload directly to YouTube. It's really the cat's meow. I, I I was in heaven when I discovered that a couple of years ago. Well, what I what I recommend people do is just grab a whole bunch of pictures, and then it's so easy. Like you said, you upload them, or you can use your phone and do them on the fly. And then mm -hmm. you press a button to choose a theme. You press mm -hmm. a button to choose some music, and then you press another button. And all of your pictures and all of your video little snippets or whatever are all synchronized. And 
made into this beautiful multimedia show that looks like you paid someone to do it. And like I said, like you said, it's only thirty dollars a year for their lowest professional version. And I tell you, you can make those all over the place. My husband is a triathlete, and he was just coaching a team, so he took all these team pictures on the fly. And he is not a nerd at all. And within a few minutes, he created one, and he was so proud of it. And people were just like, "Oh my gosh, how did you do that?" And it took a few minutes with Animoto. Oh yeah, it's terrific. And play around with it. We've actually do, have done workshops in my offices. I always limit them to seven people. And um, and we could do hands on or over their shoulders. But by the time they leave, they have a, a one or two or more really distinct areas. And the thing is, they go back and they keep playing with them, um, which is fine. And you could redo it. You can trash it. But, they, you know, that mixes and match. And, and I've used it on both the authoru.org site and my own personal, the bookshepherd.com site for introducing things of, of just and, and you get your right phrases and and things in you can really do a slick job that's very professional um, and people will have no idea that number one you did it yourself and number two well unless it really looks like you did it yourself but I mean they if you you know can't spill and you've got things screwed up but so have someone read over on it but you can put it together and it's very slick it'll make you look professional um, and it adds action to your website, so I would recommend it. Well, let me tell you about this one, and you're going to go crazy for it. You know okay. those animated videos that startup companies use where they yes. say, here is a problem, and here was Jack, and those cute yeah. little things? Well, they cost thousands of dollars if you go to a designer, but this yes, site called Powtoon, P-O-W-T-O-O-N, let okay. you do them for free, free. Oh my gosh! Or very low cost. All right, so that's P O W T O O N, like in cartoon, cartoon. All right, we've got fifteen seconds. Anything else, really quick here, Beth? I just think there are so many things to explore. Authors right now have a great ability to try the multimedia that's out there and play around with it for their for their Facebook and all that kind of social media promotion. All right, so there you go. Thank you to Beth uh, Zisnes, who is the author of your your uh, release your inner nerd, get it go in release your inner nerd, get it on Amazon. Make sure you put up a stellar five star review. This is Judith Browse. It's your guide to book publishing. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Each week, a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take you, the author, to the next level. You'll learn tips and secrets on how to create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve book publishing success by making one very simple change in your book's journey. How to avoid the publishing predators. How to create an author and book platform that rocks. Learn how to make a living with your words and your books. Learn how to publish a book that has no regrets and so much more. For more information, check out AuthorU.org, where authors who want to be seriously successful go. And Judith's website, TheBookShepherd.com. Then join us again here next week for more. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Brought to you by Author You and the Book Shepherd. Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on the Rockstar Radio Network.